All right, this is problem 29. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is graph the parent function. So the parent function doesn't have that number or that number. It's just 3 times the cube root of x. So I'm going to use a table of values. I'm going to use negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, and 8. And when I put negative 8 in there, I get negative 6. When I put negative 1 in there, I get negative 3. I get 0. I get 3. And I get 6. I'm going to graph those points. So, negative 8, negative 6 would be right there. Negative 1, negative 3 would be there. 1, 3 is there, and 8, 6 is there. So I'm going to connect the dots, and I get something that looks like kind of a stretched out S. Now I'm going to determine what the shift is. Okay, so the shift is going to be negative 3, which is 3 to the left and 1 down. So I look at each point, I go 3 to the left and 1 down, 3 to the left and 1 down, 3 to the left and 1 down, and 3 to the left and 1 down. So what does that give me? gives me an S shape that looks like that. And the domain is all real numbers and the range is all real numbers. And that's uh, what the domain and range will always be for cube root functions.